Mark, welcome back to my channel. In today's Fast Class, I'll talk about how you can maximize the protection, tracking, and charting of your music. There are a number of things you can do to maximize the protection of your music. Number one is the ISRC code. Watch my Fast Class on ISRC codes to see what they are, how to get them, and how they work. I'll pop a link in this Fast Class because I am on your side. Number two is to join the Performing and Mechanical Rights Association in your country. As it happens, I've also done a fast class on this. You're welcome. I'll pop a link in this fast class so you don't have to go searching for that one either. Number three is to embed metadata and the ISRC code into a song. So there are apps that can help you do this like Music Tag or ID3 Tag Editor. Personally, I use MP3 Tag because this lets me embed and tag information into MP3, WAV and MP4 files. Do your research and check out what apps will work best for your needs. When you find the app for you, embed the ISRC code into the song along with your album artwork and other important metadata. You can also do this before uploading your track to your digital distributor. When your songs get distributed to online platforms like Spotify or Apple Music, the platform will recognize the ISRC code and associate it with your song. By embedding an ISRC code and other metadata into your song, you're taking important steps to protect your music and ensure you get credit and royalties for your work. Don't delay, embed today. So now let's talk about how to maximize tracking and charting opportunities. You need two codes to register your music for inclusion on the mechanism that reports to the Billboard charts. The first code is the ISRC code. We've spoken about this at the start of this fast class. The second code is called a UPC code. UPC stands for Universal Product Code. UPC codes uniquely identify products in a standardized way. This includes music. A UPC code consists of 12 digits and it's unique to a specific album or single. It's like a barcode. No other album or single will have the same UPC code. From now on, I'm just gonna to refer to the word album instead of album or single because this is a fast class and I don't have time to waste. There are a few ways a UPC code can be assigned. So when an album or single is released by a record label, they should assign it with a UPC code. If your music is pressed into CDs or vinyl, the company can assign a UPC code. If a song is released via a digital distributor, they will assign it with a UPC code. You can generally find this in the same place as your ISRC code. Or you can join your country's GS1 organization and generate your own UPC codes, digital and or barcodes. So physical retailers use UPC codes to keep track of their inventory and sales. When a store orders copies of an album, they use their UPC code to make sure they're ordering the correct album and to keep track of how many copies they have in stock. When someone buys an album, the UPC code is scanned via the barcode at the point of sale to record the sale and adjust the store's inventory. This system works for both physical and digital music releases. For digital releases, the UPC code is included in the metadata of the audio files. This allows music distributors like iTunes and Spotify to properly label and organize the music in their catalogs. Sales using a UPC code are tracked in the US and Canada through Luminate SoundScan. You need both a UPC and ISRC code to register a product with Luminate. You can also report album sales from your shows to Luminate for inclusion, but only if you first successfully registered the specific UPC and ISRC codes with Luminate. Physical and digital sales are then compiled by Luminate and made available on the Wednesday of each week. And this is the sales source for the Billboard Music Charts. So that is a brief overview of how you can maximize the protection, tracking and reporting of your music to maximize your charting opportunities. It's actually a really simple and logical system, but it plays an important role in the protection and success of your music. Thanks for watching. See you in my next Fast Class, where I'll talk about how to make money as a music artist.